community is praying for him. This week, injured high school football player Scott Evelyn was moved to rehab center from Palomar Medical Center. And tonight we're getting our first visit with him and his family since that change. We're also learning more about his therapy. News 8's Jeff Zevely is live in Mount Hope with this News 8 follow-up. Jeff? Barbara Lee, we've been following Scotty's story ever since his injury. I talked to his parents after he pulled out of that coma and after he started to get some movement back, but I have not seen them this excited. Yeah, yeah there's a, a lot to hope for. Scotty Eveland always gives 100%, and for the next 90 minutes, the oxygen he breathes will give him the same. It's really exciting. 100% oxygen delivered in a pressurized hyperbaric chamber, a treatment that can reduce swelling in Scotty's brain and stimulate new blood vessels. We're anxious now. I don't think I could sleep the, the, the day that uh, I talked to these guys. Scotty's parents, Diane and Paul Luth, say it took a doctor's prescription to make this commitment. 40 treatments, one a day for 40 days. That's the standard treatment. That's what they're telling me. They are Healing Chambers of America, and they say they've seen some miracles. One of their recent patients suffered from an extreme drug overdose. That patient came into us basically the same way that Scott's coming into us right now. And now he is walking around, he is talking, you know, he's, he's a get again. Last September, Eveland, a 17-year-old Mission Hills linebacker, collapsed during his high school football game. He fought for life and won, and now his family feels this may just be the ticket to get him walking and talking again. I hope that someday my son gets up and um, gives me a great big hug and starts living his life again. That's my hope, <laughs> and this is just the start. We're told this medical technology has been around for more than 70 years, but only in the past five years has it been applied to people with brain trauma. So, Barbara Lee, for the next 40 days, We'll just pull one of these. Well, we do have our fingers crossed, and we also know there are some positive statistics because they've been using this sort of treatment for stroke survivors as well for the same type of reason, Jeff. So I think a lot of people probably have a good feeling about it, and I know you'll keep us posted. Yeah, absolutely. They're talking it up a lot, saying that it's helping kids with autism. So it, it seems Wonderful. to be a budding procedure. Thanks, Jeff.